Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a mask first impression and review and it is the Alia Skin Mask. So this is supposed to be a detoxifying and brightening, pretty much just an amazing mask all in one. So if you want to see if it really is, then let's just get right into it because I'm so excited. So this is what the box looks like that it comes in. My face is so stiff right now because I didn't apply moisturizer. Ah. So if I'm talking weird, that's why. It's called the Alia Skin Pink Perfect Australian Pink Clay Mask, and it's supposed to detoxify and brighten. It comes with 4.23 ounces. They are cruelty-free and vegan, so that is awesome. There's only like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 ingredients, and you can read them all on the back of the box. So that is literally awesome. I love when brands only have like a select few of ingredients they're all natural, they're nothing crazy, it's nothing sketchy, and you just can read what you're actually putting on your skin. So it does come with a little card in it, um, just telling you about a giveaway that they're doing. So that's really cool. And this is what the jar looks like. So it's really cute. Um, it's pretty heavy. It's got some weight to it, but not too much. Plastic top, plastic bottle, but it's very sturdy, and it looks very... I don't know, luxury, just really cute. Um, the mask, I can see through it, it is pink. It's, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I will read you guys like the claims and everything from their website while I have the mask on, just so we're not wasting time, you know? So it comes with like a little pulley tabby thing on top for sanitary reasons. And it looks like this. Ah! That smell. Oh, smells so good. It does have a strong scent, but doesn't smell like chemicals at all. It just smells really fresh and just kind of like really nice skincare. Not shitty skincare where it smells straight like alcohol and chemicals. It smells really just like, I don't know, like fresh and clean and Oh, I can't wait to put this onto my face. So as you can see, my face does have a ton of breakouts right now, and that is because I did go to the dermatologist because I couldn't stand having little bumps all over my skin, even though I wasn't having, like, huge breakouts like this. And she actually subscribed me two different creams to apply one in the morning and one at night, and she told me that your acne is going to get 100% worse during this first month, and then you will start seeing a lot of improvement. Um, over the next six months. So it is the first month and she was not lying because your girl is full of pimples. I'm not loving it. I'm trying so hard to get rid of it. But honestly, if I just have to deal with acne for one more month and then it's gone and my face is clear and glowing and my pores are minimized, then I will be one happy girl. So I thought this would be perfect to test this mask out right now because I actually have a lot of acne and we will test it out to see if it diminishes it, if it makes it less red, you know what I mean? So let's test it out. Excuse my hair. Don't know what's going on with it. It's just one of those days. So right off the bat, it is like a thicker type of mask. It's really cooling right now. It feels really good. No stinging whatsoever. I can feel your energy sitting down my spine. Oh, oh. I am not the enemy. No need to run and hide. No, no. But as the night draws near, we are animals of fear. It feels so cold inside my head. Blah, blah. And as the sun comes up, we are always out of luck. There's no room for us. It's not stinging. It's more of like a cooling sensation. In the meantime, I'm just going to go over what's on their website and what it's actually supposed to do. So one main ingredient is their pink clay, and that's supposed to remove toxins, pollutants, and nasties from your skin. It helps to remove pigmentation clusters from your skin surface, as well as stimulate regeneration of skin cells. So that is awesome. I 100% need that. 
and then it also has aloe vera and pomegranate and that is supposed to reduce skin inflammation and assist in removing eczema and acne. So it contains antioxidants that are amazing for your skin's health, it tightens your pores and gives you smooth skin and then it also has witch hazel which provides anti-aging like effect and tones the skin, it speeds up the healing of pimples detoxifies your skin from all the nasty pollutants that come in contact with your skin by keeping it fresh and healthy. So those are just like the main ingredients in the face mask that really do something. And on their website, they have all the ingredients listed. So if you want to see what ingredients are in it, then you can go on their website and literally list them because it's not that long of a list. Is it safe for sensitive skin? Yes. How many uses do you usually get in a jar? It has about two months worth and that's just applying two to three times a week. And then it asks, what are the benefits of pink clay? Is it vegan and cruelty free? Yes. How long um, will you notice the results? And it will, you will honestly see the results instantly. It's only been about two minutes, so I'm gonna go relax, maybe take some pictures for the next eight minutes, and I'll be back to let you guys know the results and what my skin looks like. So it's been 10 minutes. It is one of those masks that like tighten up and like start cracking, as you can see like around my mouth right here. It's still drying a little bit, but I'm gonna go wash this off. My skin feels great. Feels like baby skin. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. I feel like a newborn baby. I really do. It just feels really smooth, like brand new. So I do still have breakouts down here. They're honestly flat. They just have like redness around them now. So that's honestly it. I'm really impressed with this mask. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm so impressed. My pores look really good. Um, let me zoom you guys in. You can see that my pores around my nose are diminished a ton. Um, around my chin. It just looks so smooth. Feels really soft. And my face is like a little bit more glowy. Like you see this glow here? I didn't have that before. Honestly, those are my first initial thoughts of the mask. I'm so excited to use this more in the future. Definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, loves. It's a cold